Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. Ava and Harris. Now, I said this in my live stream before, but I'll sit there and say it here. The scene is very interesting when you, when you realize, you know, if you're a General Hospital fan, that they actually worked before, you know, it was Jason and Carly, and now it's Harris and Ava. But it's, it's still... It's like watching those two work again. It's, it's very interesting. Now, I have to be honest. I, when Ava was sitting there talking about the way that she treated Charlie in a quote-unquote golden child, right? Now, at the end of the day, Charlie's actions was his actions, right? And so I don't want to sit there and be like, well, you know, Ava, that's your fault that he did what he did. But she never bothered to show him any sort of love, any sort of compassion. She didn't care about him whatsoever. I understand the whole, you know, postpartum depression and stuff like that. But that doesn't account for when she actually, it doesn't account for when he got older. And he's, and she still treated him like trash. Throughout that whole story, it just pissed me off. It just pissed me off. It's like, oh, I can't wait to go see Trip and stuff like that. Y'all, the son is literally six feet under. And it's like there's no emotion whatsoever. And it it just, it just bothers me. Also, it would have been really cool if they would have actually brought in the father. It would have been really cool if they would have actually sat there and bring in the father. Maybe come back, get some uh, revenge or anything like that. I, I feel like it was a great opportunity for that. And they just decided to not go there. And it sucks. Um, but that's, you know, it explains the reasons of why she is still seeing Charlie because she has guilt and she should have guilt. She should have guilt because she treated her other son like garbage. I really did not give two ish about the, the scenes with Talia and, and Marlena. I am, let me tell you something. I am so sick and tired between today and yesterday and probably other other day before that of them constantly putting this whole, the reason why Talia did what she did was because of emotional abuse. It wasn't because of emotional abuse. It was because she was manipulated. She was manipulated because she's an idiot. If, if she can use emotional abuse to sit there and get out of situations she gets out of and for some sort of redemption, then you can practically use emotional abuse for anything, right? I mean, I could sit there and be with somebody and then cheat and then sit there and say, well, I was emotionally abused. She promised to really sit there and, and give me the best time of my life. And when I was unsure, she said she, would, she said she wouldn't do it. You know, she took it back. And, and it, just, it just seems like a, a, a get out of jail free card. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not with it. I'm really not with it. So she's in therapy. She's sitting there talking about how she could have feelings for Chanel. And she's not really too sure. And she only had one boyfriend, one relationship in her whole life. And she doesn't know if it's, if the feelings are real or if it's just something that she's making up. And to be honest, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's just, it's just so stupid. It's so dumb. It's like, all right, so now she's been straight her whole life. But because they need to sit there and, and have Chanel with a, with a romance interest, and they don't just want to put those two back together. I love when I'm trying to do stuff and I have to constantly get interrupted by, I don't know, a million different things. I just, like I said, I just, I find it so dumb. That it's like, instead of them just trying to put them back together, it's like, oh, we're going to sit there and bring in this character. But we're going to sit there and make her a lesbian. And it's like, what? What? It's, it's, it's so dumb, but to be, you know, here's the thing. I would think it was stupid either way. The difference is, it's just, you know, it's just, I mean, um, Talia is just, for me, just so much of an unlikable character. Really is. Abe says he's going to come back to being a mayor after Paulina, the annoying, pushy woman that she is, decide to barge on in and be like, hey. I need you to come back to be mayor. Sit there and help my daughter. And there was other people too. 
you know, those, those, those other people. But you definitely need to sit there and fix some Chanel situation. And Kayla's like, I don't know if this is a good idea. First of all, she just barged her little ass right on in her house. I'm like, what is wrong with this woman? But Abe says yes, because he wants to have purpose to get up in the morning and do stuff again. So, you know, Kayla's against it, but she's like, all right, listen, if you start from all off, come back. Paulina's too busy sitting there just happy and laughing and smiling and grabbing him and everything like that. I'm like, you know, the reason why he actually left your house is because you practically shoved your tongue down this man's throat. <laughs> just, uh, that is that is one irritating ass woman. That seriously, that is one irritating ass character. Um, Trick plans a romantic um romantic getaway with Wendy by going to stay in the hotel. And then he gets a call from his mom saying that, you know, she wants to see him. And the only time you can actually see her is today. So they don't wind up knocking boots. So that doesn't wind up happening. To be honest, I, I really didn't care. I really didn't. I really didn't care. I didn't. Um, I'm sorry about that. It's, it, once again, somebody's they're calling me. It's like, if I decline once, there's a reason for that. But. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so he planned a romantic thing. And I'm not going to lie. Even the lines that, that was coming out of Wendy's mouth is so cheesy and cringy. And it's like, you just couldn't wait for it to be over. And it was over. And it took way too long. But I was so happy it was over. Um, Johnny was there. He was catching up with Chanel and... Talking about Ali and she has a new boyfriend and talking about the issue the issue that's going on with Rollins and him just being a dick to her about a sticker. It was just stupid. I was to tell you the truth. And I, I'm going to be honest, optics-wise, it doesn't look right. I'm going to give you a scenario where the optics don't look right and I can understand why some people might be a little triggered. I don't like that word, but I can see it. And I meant to say in my live stream yesterday, but I'm going to say it here. So, look at these two situations and tell me that they're not triggering. Okay, why and if you watch why and you You got bougie ass, bougie ass white woman Nikki talking down to and just completely disrespecting a young black man like Nate. Okay? That's that's not the scenario, obviously, but I can understand why people would be like, don't look right. And then you have this scenario. Where you have a very powerful white man practically have it in and is taking away a business from a young woman of color, right? And you just look at the optics and you're just like, it just, it's like you get it to some extent, but at the same time, I mean, it's like you get it story wise, it's like, all right, you know, it is what it is. But just optics wise, you can understand. It's like I'm looking at those two scenarios and I'm like, this, 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 I can, I can see how this could be a problem. I can I can see how I could be it could be kind of a problem. Um, well, I feel like that's pretty much about it. That's all I can really think of anyway. If I missed anything, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the souls, why in our days, B and B, and GH. And with that being said, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.